Hi Marco, good evening. Hi, good evening, teacher. How was your day? It was great, thank you. Um, How about your day? Okay. What's your day? Your day was okay? Um, this day uh, was very, 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 very busy, 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 and I don't like this day. Oh no, Marco. <laughs> it's very bad for me. Okay. But I'm here. I need to learn every day. That's right. Yes, very nice. And I need to do the homework of French too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, yes. Yes. My my wife my wife uh, it's learned too. Oh that's nice. Okay. Yes. Very nice. Uh, tomorrow I begin the class and at 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. I I have a little minute to change change class to <laughs> other link to the other class. Okay, all right. Oh, I see. Very good. Can you take the French classes every day? Ah, uh, wait, wait a moment, please. I don't hear you. Okay. Sorry, teacher. I was saying that if you take your French classes every day. I, can you repeat? Because I, I was having the yeah. volume, volume very high. Ah, I said if you take your French classes every day. No, I, I have classes only Monday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Okay, I get it. Okay, very three, nice. but it's for a uh, three months. Okay, it's only for speaking. Don't 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 entry to grammatical or uh, it's only to speak. Okay. Uh, for this moment and and then yes, we need to write uh, other things. Okay. Hi, ah, okay. very good, nice, okay. That's very nice. Let's see, good evening guys. Hi, Johnny, Ever, Carlos, Alberto, Amilcar, Carlos, Roberto, and Daniel, hi. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How is everybody, everybody okay? Nice, yes. nice. Nice, okay, very good. I'm happy to hear that. A ver, estábamos revisando plataforma y hay algunos que me deben el midterm. All right, so si usted me debe el midterm todavía, please, necesito que se ponga a trabajar en ello, puesto que hoy empezamos ya la unidad 3, all right, la sección 3. Y ya prácticamente tenemos, obviamente, esta semana, la otra y lunes, ¿verdad? Porque como empezamos martes, entonces, pero ya. Casi, casi terminando. All right, así es que si a usted le falta todavía completar el midterm, please work on it, ¿ok? Ok, very good. ¿Me, ¿Cómo me escuchan ahora? Ever, su micrófono está apagado. Sorry, good evening, teacher. Sí, con, con un poco de eco, si no sé. Siempre un poco de eco, pero fíjense que bien raro porque solo es en esta clase, porque tengo otras con Zoom igual y no. Quizás no, sé si alguien más, no sé si alguien más lo percibe. Que Ayer me dijo Johnny. Y tú. Ok. All right, ya vamos a ver qué más le toco a esto. All right, very good, guys. Thank you. Teacher, teacher, solamente ten, yo tenía una duda. Fíjese que yo... Eh, ya recibí el correo para la inscripción del próximo módulo. Ok. Pero eh, yo tengo eh, una duda con referente a la documentación que hay que presentar, porque parece que tenemos hasta el 20, okay. no me equivoco, 20, 20 o 21 de febrero. 
pero tenemos que presentar la planilla de enero pagada, que es la que vence el 28 de febrero. No sé si es la de enero o la de, o la de diciembre la que tenemos que presentar, porque en mi caso, a esa fecha creo que todavía no han efectuado el pago en, en, en paduría la, la gente encargada. Bueno, si gusta, me deja preguntar a ver mañana, ¿verdad? Porque puede ser que, que sí se hayan referido o se hayan querido referir a la de diciembre, oye. Ok, ok, sí, porque me parecía a mí, me parece a mí que es la de enero, la de enero que necesito pagar. Entonces, sí, solamente quería que nos ayudara a validar esa información para así poder acercar la, la, la información correcta. Sí, claro, claro que sí. Déjeme, yo mañana averiguo y le, le paso la información en la noche, oye. Okay, Aunque sí, me sí, parecería sí, sí. que es diciembre, Richard, porque ah. para este módulo fue la de noviembre la que se validó. Ajá. Sí, puede ser, ser nada más ¿no? como que fue como error de, de dedo, ¿verdad? En el sentido que pusieron enero y quisieron poner diciembre, porque sí, a mí también tiene razón. Para inscribirse en este entiendo que pidieron noviembre, ¿verdad? Yes. Ajá. All right. Pero igual, yo le corroboro mañana, Ever, por cualquier cosa, así ya estamos bien. All right. Permítame un segundo. All right, very good guys. So Maria Melina, hello. We have it. Edwin also, Maritza, hi, Mariana. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. Amy, Vicky, hi, Marta, hi, and yeah, Carlita. Good evening. Okay, nice. Carlita, le extrañamos ayer, Carla. Sí, teacher, no pude conectarme ayer. Okay, lo bueno que ya está aquí, Carlita. Oye, that's very nice. Thank you. Okay, guys, so today we officially begin unit three. Okay. Alexander, igual, perdone, no lo había saludado. Hi, Alexander. Good evening, teacher. My problem. All right, very good. So today we officially begin unit three, guys. All right. Um, remind me, ayer terminamos de hacer el ejercicio último. No, teacher. No, verdad, era del schedule, ¿cierto? Yes. Yes. Okay, permítame, ahorita lo, lo traigo para acá para que lo podamos ver. That's right, this is it, right? Este era, ¿cierto? Yes, teacher. All right, let's see, number five, let me see. Alexander, can you read the question, please? Can you read question number five? Uh, excuse me. Uh, what, what are the how Sarah is working on Saturday and Saturday? On Sunday and okay. Saturday, all right. Uh -huh. what, yes, what are Sarah the is work Sarah is work Sunday from a a, a 3 p.m. She am Saturday the 7 um, 2 p.m. Okay, so Sara is working. Asegúrese, Alexander, que diga Sara is working, ¿verdad? Con ING. Ah, okay, is working. On Sunday from, ocupamos la preposición from y to, from 9. Sí. Oh, from, from 9, 8, 3 p.m. Ajá, uh -huh. and Saturday from 7. And Saturday, Saturday from 7. Sería from siempre. Sí, claro. From seven, from seven to uh, a two p.m. From seven, from seven to two p.m. Yes. Okay. Yes, Amita. Um, nosotros contestamos así. Sara works thirteen hours between today, pero no pusimos el verbo. El verbo de acción, solo dijimos que trabajaba y o el, trabaja. Pero ese es el verbo de acción, Amilcar. Sara works. 
Pero escuché que allí it's, it's working. Sí, por cómo lo tiene redactado en la pregunta, pero ambas respuestas están bien, Amilcar. Ok. All right. Ok. Yep, very good. Thank you. All right, number six. Uh, maybe Maritza, can you read the question? Who isn't working on Saturday? Mm -hmm. On Saturday, isn't working Jack and Ali? Or Ali and Jack isn't working on Saturday? Uh -huh. Ali, uh, Ali, Ali, sorry, Ali and Jack are not working porque son dos. Are not. Uh -huh. Yes. All right, they are not working on Saturday. All right, number seven, who's working fewer hours on Sunday? Aloha, hola, I don't know the name. Uh, Aloha is fewer. All right, so Aloha is working less hours? Fewer hours? Yeah, yes, yep, this work the fewer hours on Sunday. That's right, thank you. All right, what about number nine? What are the subheadings in this schedule? What are the subheadings on this schedule, guys? What do you think? The subheadings are servers, kitchen, are servers, kitchen staff, and manager. Okay, Th those could be some subheadings. Another subheadings, what could you answer? I have some difference. Okay. The day of the yeah. week. I have the, the media hour paid meal break when you work six hours or more. Excuse me, Evan? I have, the, uh, I have some difference. I, I couldn't, yes, in this. We have put in, no. For number nine. Yeah, not, uh, number nine. Where are the sub in this schedule? Uh huh. We're putting the nuts. Uh, there is a media, media, media uh, how do you speak media? Half, media. half, 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 break when you work six hours or more. No, but that's a note ever. That's not a subheading. The sub that is a note. Uh -huh. It's not, it's only note. Yeah, it's a, only a note. Yes, the subheadings are departments, days of the week, or servers, kitchen staff, and managers. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. This is okay, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. All right, number 10. A ver, ¿quién me ayuda a leer la número 10? Marco, David, can you read number 10 and give me the answer, please? Okay. What is the heading for the last column? Oh, it's the number nine. The last column. Mark and N. Oh. What is the heading of the last column? It's sat or Saturday. Uh, it's Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> right? It's Saturday. I'm so sorry. Okay. It's Saturday. Okay. No, no. Yeah, okay. me equivoqué, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> no, se preocupe. Era la nueve, ¿verdad? Ah. No, no, no. Okay, number 11. ¿Cuál era? Para Mi teacher. Permítame, ya voy, ya voy. What is the heading for the last column? It's Saturday. It's Saturday. Uh -huh. okay. All right. A ver, Edwin Eliseo, hagan la 11 y la 12. Ahora si me ayudan con el micrófono que está abierto. Ah, pues había otro. A ver, Edwin Eliseo, number 11. Okay. What, what is the what? total number? 
of staff working on Tuesday. Tuesday, uh huh. Tuesday, uh huh. Uh, uh, I... Sorry, sorry, Eliseo. Espérame, quiero buscarla. Um... Oh, yeah. How many staff are like how many kitchen staff are working on or not kitchen? Sorry, how many? What is the total number of the staff working on Tuesday? You say, well, how many people are working on Tuesday? Oh, how many people? How many people are working on Tuesday? One, two, three, four, and pero and the managers too. Mm. It is four people. Six, six people. Six people or four people or five people. Five, five people. I have five. five. Es la que estábamos fregando ayer a a Milka. A, a Milka. <laughs> ah, que olvidemos ah, mamá. I forgot sí. the manager. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Yes. Very good. Uh, Milka number 12. Sigue abierto un micrófono. Si me ayudan con ese micrófono, please. A ver, Milka, uh, which days of the week is the, rent, the restaurant open? Which day? Uh, the restaurant, it's, it, it's open. Guys, from I... Sunday to Saturday. Yeah, it's working from, I mean, it's open from Sunday. Sunday, from, day, from Sunday to Saturday. Every day, yes. Every day, every okay. week. Yeah, 24 7. All right, Carlos Walberto, what about 13? How many hours does Anne get paid on Saturday? Okay. Um, Anne get um, okay. four hours. All right, she gets paid for four hours or five hours? Four hours. Okay. All right. I guess. All right, Carlita, can you read number 14? Which days of the week does Mark work until 4 p.m.? Mm. Permítame, dice que no, esa captura no la tengo del día de ayer. Sí, ok, that's ok. Y si no le ayudamos ahí, Carlita, no se preocupe. Someone that can help us with an um, mm -hmm. 14. Sunday check. And Mark, Mark. No, Mark works until 4 p.m. on Friday. On Friday. Lo que pasa, Carlita, que empiezan aquí Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Terminan en Saturday. That's okay, Carla. Thank you. All right, let's see. What about, hay bastantes con las cámaras apagadas. No sé por qué. All right, a ver. Um, Johnny, number 15. Okay. 15. Who works more weekend hours? Ali or Sara? Mm-hmm. Uh, 
Sara works more than Ali. Yes, Ali doesn't work on, on Saturday, only on Sunday. Yes. All right, very good. The last one, well, the last two. Uh, Mariano, Jim has a dental appointment on Tuesday at 3 p.m. Who can he ask to switch shifts with? So Jim has a dental appointment at 3 p.m. on which day, guys? On Tuesday at 3. Jim, we can talk with Sarah. Yeah. yeah. Because it's Sarah, it's Sarah is high day, day three. All right. Yes, Sarah doesn't, doesn't work on Tuesdays. All right. Very good. And the last one here, it says, why do you think Ali comes into work at seven? Ali comes at seven o'clock every day. Why? Why, it, why do you think he comes to work at uh, Ali, Ali, I don't know if it is he or she uh -huh. uh, have another work and work at gay. Okay. So uh, it's because uh, work from 8 a.m. to 4 or 5 p.m. And this is this is work, this is the second work. Okay, that makes sense. All right. Um, Daniel, just make sure that you say has, no have. Oh, has. Right. Okay. Yeah. Very Thank good. You. Excellent. All right. I'm going to stop sharing this. Okay, guys. I'm going to hi, El Elvir, no lo había visto entrar. All right. Very nice. And Nancy tampoco. Very nice. Thank you. All right, guys, let's see. We are going to take attendance right now, and then we can begin with the unit three. Carlos Roberto Garcia Ramirez. Hi, nice to see you again. Carlos Alberto Rodriguez. Thank you, teacher. All right, Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Domingo Alexander Gonzalez. Present teacher. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Edwin Eliseo. All right. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present teacher. Present teacher. Sorry. Centeno Franco. Okay, Edwin. Fátima Alejandra. Mentrado Fátima Un. Okay. Um, Gilmar Cruz Méndez Méndez. Present, yo. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jonathan Alexander Pineda Díaz. Present. Jorge Elvir Miranda Ramos, sorry. <laughs> Miranda. Hey, Miranda, I'm tell sorry. me. No, I was with Miranda, all right. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's, it, it, it's, it's past, no problem. Yeah, present. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> in other in others in other work, tell me Mandarin. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. All right. Jose Francisco Hernandez Avalos. Francisco is in. Carla de Nacir Lara Gonzalez. Present. Marco David Velázquez Vázquez. Present teacher. María Emelina Iraeta de Salinas. Present teacher. Maritza Alcira Castellón Celaya. Good evening, present teacher. Thank you. Misael Rivera Aquino. Yeah. Okay. No vino. Nancy Luce Rodriguez Escoto. Present teacher. Thank you. Romeo Alexis Rodriguez Joaquin. Jasmine Melanie Lemus Rodriguez. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Marlos Alberto Cardona Valencia. Present. Thank you. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Mariano Jose Paca Santa Maria. Present teacher. Vicky Dinora Gutierrez de Duran. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. 
Thank you. Adela Trinidad González Consuelo. Present. Victoria Maria Vasquez Juarez. Present. And we have Amilcar Cañengas Aceituno. Present, teacher. Excellent. All right. Thank you, guys. So most of you guys are here. All right. Solo recordarles si pueden encender sus cámaras. Acuérdense que eh, como requisito de InstaForm es tener sus cámaras encendidas el mayor tiempo posible. All right, very good. Okay, guys, so we are going to go on here with our book. All right, vamos a iniciar con la unidad tres. Let me just get that here for you. All right, so here we have unit three. All right, let's see. Johnny, can you please read where it says, I will be able to, Johnny? Okay. Identify a specific information of the human resources, staff, organization, and their responsibilities within the department. Very good, excellent. Johnny, remember is identify, okay? Oh, identify. Very good, okay. yes. Thank you. All right. And number one, it says let's start. Kimar, can you read this, please? Number one. Right, let's start. What do you know about the human resource department in your company? Okay. Make it. Very good. Okay. So let's make a list together, guys. I'm going to stop sharing. What does the human department do? In your office, in the company, what do human resources people do? What do they work on? Can someone tell me? Any ideas of what human resource people do? The department, what do they do? Human resource is the uh, in charge of looking the uh, New employees. Okay, very good. And, He's in charge and, of for and, employees. And in, in, interviewing to the to the future employees and and they uh, they roll roll how say uh, uh, salarios nomina and payroll. Roll, no no roll, payroll payroll, payroll. Uh -huh. <laughs> thank you yes yes he is in charge of payroll and others and other benefits to the employees. Okay, very good. Any other activities the human resource department, uh, what do they do in your company? What is human resource in charge of? Teacher. Mm -hmm, Amilcar. In my company, the human resource department uh, do uh, to a, a, attend a meeting, capa, capacitation meeting, okay. and an interview, interviewing uh, the for the new new employees. Okay, all right. Okay, very good, Amilcar. Acuérdense que cuando decimos capacitación puede ser training or workshop. All right. Very okay, okay. Okay, yep, very good. Excellent. Very nice. What else? Maritza, in your work, what does the human department do? What are they in charge of? Sorry, teacher. What is human resource responsible for in your work, Maritza? In my work, um, the Human resource have um, in what, what um, planilla de salarios, como se dice, um, payrolls, 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 uh -huh. um, prepared. Preparing the 
las planillas del seguro también. Seguro social. All right, very good. Uh, AFP. Okay, all right. So everything that has to do with payments. No, teacher. Uh -huh. Marina, tell me. Uh, the human resource department, um, they also are in charge about the security of the employees and they provide the, the materials about the safety, safety. Um, and um, training in that's it to check. All right, very good. Cuando ustedes ingresan o quieren ingresar a estos tipos de cursos, ¿a dónde van? In Safor. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, the human resource. Human resource. Yes. For, uh, uh -huh. for the, for uh, the uh, my company, teacher. Sorry. Excuse me. In my company, the uh, human resource department is uh, on some facilitator. Facil, facil, facilitar, ¿cómo se dice? Facilitate. Facility the doc, uh, facility the document. My uh, 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 Se le apagó su micrófono. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, solamente. All right. Okay. Very good. Tell me you were saying something. Okay. Okay. Um... Each are uh, finding the training for the employees uh, in my company. Uh, is 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 for example, uh, resguard the safety on the uh, employees in the border custom and propors proportionate the the. Leyes o, o, o ah, ¿cómo le llaman? Mm, requisitos que se tienen. Ah, el código de trabajo. Ah, el código de trabajo. Eh, and another. The work code, okay. Yes, and another, another code. All right, very good. Okay, nice, interesting. Okay, so here we are going to keep on talking about this. We have this conversation. It says, Mr. Chang is looking for two employees at RC Company. Listen to your teacher, read the conversation, and then practice. Johnny, can you please be Mr. Chang? All right. And um, Carlos Roberto, can you be Dorian, please? Uh, teacher, only one suggestion. Uh, can you employ the pace, please, or do Zoom? Make some. Es que casi no ¿Y ahora? Uh, cada quien puede hacer zoom en la página en la en en los teléfonos celulares. No pueden dar zoom también así manual. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. yes, thank you. All right. I think they can see it now better. All right. You may read. Excuse me. I'm looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure, she is the recruitment coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiters. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Carlos, your microphone is off.
All right. Um, ¿A dónde se quedó Johnny? The, what does he do, right? Uh, with uh, one, two, the three, Dorian. Okay. So, yes, Mateo Salgado, he's a talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? All right. He returns at one o'clock. Thank you, Johnny. Very good. Let's see. Jasmine, can you be Mr. Chan? And Mariano, can you please be Dorian? Okay. Excuse me. I am looking for Mr. Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure. She is the recruitment coordinator. I see. I call to tell, tell me about her responsibilities. Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiting. I understand. I does Mr. Salgado work here. What do he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent manager consultant. Where can I raise him? He returned at one o'clock. Okay, thank you. All right, Marlon, can you be Mr. Chang and Jonathan Dorian? Sure. Excuse me, I'm looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure, she is recruiting coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiters. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? And what does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent manager consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns return at one o'clock. Perfect. Thank you, guys. All right. Excellent. So here we're talking about two people. Mr. Cheng, he's looking for two people. Who is he looking for? Who is Mr. Cheng looking for? Uh-huh. ¿A quién busca? Who is he looking for? Miss Chavez. Chavez. Okay. Mr. Salgado. Mr. Salgado. Yes, very good. A ver. Um, Amilcar, what does Miss Chavez do? Mm -hmm. She is the recruitment coordinator. Mm, all right. And what about Mr. Salgado? Nancy, Lisette, what does Mr. Salgado do? Nancy, so, uh -huh. dígame, dígame, dígame que no, 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 le, no le escuché muy bien. A ver, eh, what does Mr. Salgado do, Nancy? ¿Me logro escuchar, Nancy? <coughs> no? All right. A ver. Eh, yes. Teacher, teacher. Hola. Teacher, ¿Hola? ¿Hola? Es mis, eh, Mr. Salgado, he is the talent manager, the consultant. He's a talent management consultant. Yes. Ajá, mana, com, re, repíteme otra vez. Mana. Sí, ahorita. Ma, talent management consultant. Okay. Excellent, Jasmine. Thank you. All right. So here it says, excuse me, I'm looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure. She's the recruitment coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiters. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? 
Yes, Mateo Salgado. He's a talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. All right, revise allí if you have any questions about vocabulary or meaning. Y me avisan. Sure. Yes. Uh, are registers is the correct pronunciation. ¿En cuál línea, perdón? En Dorian, the second Dorian. Ah, uh, she's the recruitment coordinator. Recruit. Recruitment. Recruit. Recruitment. Uh -huh. Como la coordinadora de reclutamiento, ¿verdad? What is the pronunciation, teacher? Recruitment. Recruitment. Uh -huh. Coordinator. Recruitment. Coordinator. All right. No sé si hay alguna otra palabra. Any other word, guys, that you want me to share with you? Teacher. Yes. What is meaning when, when Dorian say he is the talent management consultant? Uh -huh. What is the meaning? Talento. All right. I'm sorry, can you repeat? Yes, es un consultor gerencial, digamos, de talento. Ah, okay, thank you. Es decir, un casa talento, teacher. Ah, pretty much. Sure. Yes. Yeah. Thank what you, teacher. I reached him. Ajá. Uh -huh. All right, where can I reach him? ¿Dónde lo encuentro? Right. O donde lo contacto, ¿verdad? O donde lo contacto puede ser también. Ok. Teacher. Yes. Ok. Uh, in the second... Uh, in, in the second... ¿Qué? Sentences of Dorian. Ajá. Uh -huh. She provides... Recruiting. Recruiting is the correct pronunciation. No, recruiting. Repeat, please. Recruiting. Recruiting. Yes. Recruiting. Recruiting. Y la última, the last one, teacher. Recruiters. 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 Uh -huh. Thank you. Very good. Recruiters. Yes. Recruiters. Recruiters. Okay, let's work on exercise three. Question one and question two. Who is Miss Chavez? And what do you think Mr. Chang does? All right, les doy dos minutitos para que contesten these two questions, guys, okay? Ready with the answers? Yes, no? Yes, teacher. Yes. All right. Not yes. yet. Okay, that's okay. Vamos a empezar con la primera, obviamente. Let's see, Francisco, number one, who is Miss Chavez? She is the recurring coordinator. Yes. All right. Francisco, no me escucha. 
Ah, I'm sorry, tenía apagado el micrófono. Oh, ok, very good. All right, pero ya nos ayudaron por ahí. A ver, number two. What do you think Mr. Chang does? Alguien que me ayude con la número dos. Uh -huh. Trini, you want to help me with them? Ajá. Uh -huh. Mr. Chang is looking for two employees at RC Company. Teacher. I think Mr. Chang, Chang is um, sa, somebody who is looking for a um, um, any position there. Ah, he's for looking, job, for looking for a job or for any position there. So you think he's looking for a job or he needs two people or he needs employees? Oh, it's another possibility. Okay. New, uh, new employees, maybe teacher. Okay. All right. Uh, client. Teacher. Hola. I think Mr. Shang is a uh, old client. Oh, you think he's a client? Yes. Oh, well, could be. All right. Very good. Okay. This is what... Hola. Hola. Yeah, you, you're right, teacher. Uh, Mr. Shang is looking for a new employees in that company because they are... Um, um looking for 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 talent uh-huh yes. right. i think that mr shan is the interviewer oh okay maybe all right yeah. all right guys this is what we're going sure. to do yes maybe bank collector Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> right. No. Possibility. No, no, the bank. <laughs> bank collector. No, 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 no. Uh, Llegan a cobrar los dos. Mr. Oh, Chant. No. <laughs> Mr. Chant is the owner's company. Maybe. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Yeah. Could be many Peter. possibilities. Yes. Llega como jefe encubierto. Oh, Any uh, possibilities. For me, for me it's collector if, because... He's, uh, he's, oh, he has a very, very question. Many questions. Okay. Teacher, but don't, uh, uh, it's not looking for new employees because uh, Mr. Chan is uh, asked for someone in and in a specific yeah and he, he can do it recruit recruitment recruiting uh, to other company is don't polite <laughs> it's not polite all right okay it's yes in the actuality are uh, some companies the recruitment employees and they provide the, the employees to the other company. That's right. Yes, they exist. Very good, Maria Melina. Yes, very good. Yeah, that, that's why I was saying maybe it's a probability, right? It's not yes. that he's coming to look for, to take the employees of this company. Maybe this company where Ms. Chavez and Mr. Salgado work, they recruit personnel to send to other companies. Yes. Right? Yeah. Okay. Good. Like outsourcing. Uh-huh. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yes. Okay. So this is what we're going to do, guys. Solo déjenme lo digo. Recruitment. 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 All right. Yes. Vamos a hacer, we're going to make a conversation. Uh, uh, tome esta como guía. All right? But I want you to change roles. No solo podemos hablar the recruitment or the consultant, all right, sino que de, piensen, piensen en sus trabajos, all right, y que otros tipos de, de puestos hay dentro del trabajo. Usted puede decir, excuse me, I'm looking for a militar cañengues, 
All right. Um, okay. Uh, he's not in right now or whatever, right? Y usted le va a preguntar, excuse me, what does he do? All right. Y usted le va a decir, Milker Cañengues is the general manager of this company. La idea es Thank jugar. you, teacher. <laughs> You're welcome, Amilcar. La idea es jugar con otros puestos de trabajo y otras acciones que esa persona pueda realizar. ¿Sí me entiendo? Yes, the idea is to try to do similar, but no, no la quiero igualita. Usted invente de otra cosa, ¿verdad? Right? ¿Por qué anda buscando a Mika? ¿Le debe algo? <laughs> All right, Elvir va a decir que es un bank. ¿Cómo fue uh, Elvir? Bank collection. Collection. Uh -huh. A bank collector, right? Collector. Es que Mika es, he needs to pay. <laughs> All right. Prima moda te busca. <laughs> Right. Comercial el buen precio. <laughs> Debe la letra de la cama. Oh, no, amigo. Very good. Okay. Pues vamos a ir a los grupos. Eh, son, faltan 10 a las 9. A las 9 y 5 los voy a regresar. Traten de terminarla en este tiempo. ¿Ok? Teacher, I'm sorry. Uh, can you repeat what you want? A, a similar conversation, María. Ok. Ok. Puede cambiar. Okay. Le, la idea es cambiar a otro puesto, ¿verdad? General manager, supervisor, seller. All right. La idea es como voy a preguntar, ¿y qué hacen? ¿Y dónde está? ¿A qué hora regresa? ¿Cómo lo encuentro? All right. Yes. Por eso es de tomar como ejemplo la conversación. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. All right. Vamos a ver. Vamos a abrir. Okay, guys, groups are open. Maritza, no le sale ni No, 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 perdón, perdón. <ríe> no se preocupe. Misael, lo voy a mandar a un grupo ahorita. Se acaban de ir, tienen que hacer una conversación. ¿Me escucha? Hola, Misael, ¿me escucha? Hola.
Hi. Hi, teacher. ¿Me escuchan? Yes. yes. ¿Me escuchan mejor o siempre con eco, Johnny? Siempre con eco. No sé por qué. <ríe> y es así como bien feo o no tanto. Soy como cuando uno está en un cuarto, así que no hay nada de cosas. No que está okay. solo el cuarto. Ah, ok. ¿Y se oye suave o se oye, o sea, el eco y suave o el eco y normal? Hoy se oye menos que ayer. Ajá, lo que pasa es que me acabo de poner audífonos. Puede ser que Pero no será el... que, que siempre tomará el... Uh, el zoom, eh, el micrófono de la computadora y no de los audífonos. Pues entiendo yo que ahorita tengo activado el, el micrófono de los audífonos y no de la computadora. <ríe> ahí tengo. Oh, ahí a la par del micrófono hay una flechita, usted le da y ahí aparece lo de micrófono, uh -huh. que está lo, lo de sus audífonos. But, but we hear you better, uh, teacher. Se escucha mejor ahorita, Francisco, entonces. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. It, it's more, it's más claro. How do you say más claro? It's, it's clear. Y ahora it's como lo escuchen, igual. It's better. Okay. No se cambió de lugar donde se, se sienta usted. Lo que trabajar. pasa es que, como no, lo que pasa es que estaba, eh, de hecho aquí, aquí siempre he dado la clase. Lo que pasa es que las semanas pasadas estaba en otro lugar porque estaban remodelando este espacio. <risa> Pero allí donde está usted en este momento ya pusieron las cosas como, sí, sí está, como muebles okay. y todo. Sí. <risa> ah, pues. All right. Pero ahorita sí se escucha mejor, ¿verdad? Creo. Sí. Ok,
ponerle he is the supervisor de de, de maintenance puede ser también yeah maybe maybe do yes I know I'm Mario I am, I know I know I'm Mario Lopez uh -huh. he is the how do you say flota de vehículos o teacher? No, no, teacher. Hola. O, o, o solo uh, the company's cars. He's, he's, he's in the church in the company cars. Ya, yeah, porque, uy, no sé, fíjate, vamos a averiguar cómo se dice flotar o no. Como una flota de, o la flota de vehículos de la empresa. Ajá. Uh -huh. O sería, ajá, the company's cars, digo yo. Yeah, yeah, pero puede haber una, una, ¿cómo se dice una palabra exacta? Mm -hmm. Alright, vehicle fleet. Vehicle or car, ¿verdad? Yeah. Vehicle cars, vehicle or oh, the, comp sí. the company cars. Sí, all right. Esto es el, ya como flota de vehículos, como más, um, un término más formal, digamos. Mm -hmm. Ok. Right. Ok, más? Kevin. Ya, yeah. almost one? finished or not yet? Mm, yo diría que en unos dos, tres minutos. Sí, está bien, perfecto, no hay problema. Lo, lo, lo tenemos bien. Ajá, that's ok. Ok, sure. Ok. To the company's car, company's car, a lo que. Ok. Carla, no. And, no, 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 I'm here. Carla, and Elvin. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Hi, almost finished. Hi, teacher. Uh, only one minute for oh, the that's finish. Fine. Yeah, that's okay. That's fine. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Francisco. ¿Qué le pasó, Frank? Se me apagó el celular, es porque... Lo andaba descargando, bueno, lo tengo descargado. Ah, ok. ¿Y estaba en algún grupo, Francisco? ¿O no había entrado? Sí, estaba trabajando con Johnny y Omar, vino Omar. No ah, sí, es cierto. Ahorita. ¿Ya habían terminado? ¿Todavía no? Pues ya le habíamos mandado forma, ya la estábamos haciendo. Vaya, si gusta lo mando para ver como si ya, ya casi terminaron. ¿Okay? Va, yo pensé que ya las había sacado. No, hasta acá. Lo que pasa es que entre algunos grupos y ya les faltaba como un ratitito más y no los quería ir. Ah, vale.
Amilkar, did you finish? Yes, teacher. Excellent. All right. Who did you work with, Amilcar? Uh, Robert, Carlos Roberto Garcia. Okay, very good. Daniel finished? Yes, teacher. All right, very good. Uh, Jorge Elvira also with Carlita, did you finish? Yes. Yes, madam. Excellent, very nice, okay. I'm just gonna take attendance and then we start listening to the conversations, okay? Okay. I'm just waiting for everybody else to come back. All right, excellent. All right, let's see guys, I'm gonna take attendance first and then we can start with the conversations. Carlos Roberto Garcia Ramirez. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto Rodriguez. Present teacher. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Domingo Alexander Gonzalez. Present teacher. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present teacher. Fátima Alejandra Centeno Franco. Present teacher. Gilmar Cruz Méndez Méndez. Present. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jonathan Alexander Pineda Díaz. Present. Jorge Elvir Miranda Ramos. Elvir. All right. Uh, Jose Francisco Hernández Ávalos. Present. Carla Benacir Lara González. Present. Marco David Velázquez Vázquez. Present teacher. María Melina Iraeta de Salinas. Present teacher. Maritza Alcida Castellón Celaya. Here teacher. Misael Rivera Aquino. Present teacher. Thank you. Nancy Lizette Rodríguez Escoto. Present teacher. Romeo Alexis Rodríguez Joaquín. Okay, um, Jasmine Melanie Lemus Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay, hold on. Um, Marlon Alberto Cardona Valencia. Present. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Present teacher. Mariano Jose Pata Santa Maria. Present teacher. Vicky Dinora Gutierrez de Duran. Present teacher. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Jorge. Okay. Um, Adela Trinidad González Consuegra. Present. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. Present. And Amilcar Cañengas Aceituno. Amilcar. Teacher. Okay. Yes, tell me. Uh, present. Oh, so I wake yeah, up. Thank you. Moment. <laughs> That's okay. Don't worry about it. I knew you were there. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Uh, Marisa. A ver, solo Sorry. por eso, solo por eso el virus Marisa va a empezar con Alexander. A ver, tell me your conversation. Yeah. <laughs> con right. Alexander. No, But, no trabajé con él. Con Domingo Alexander. Ah, sí. Perdón. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very good. Okay. okay, that's okay. It's late. <laughs> okay, Domingo, start. Okay. Uh, ah, el caso, muchacho. Excuse me. I am Alex Martinez. Uh, I'm looking for Mr. Gonzalez. Uh, where I can I freak here? Let me see. He is a, a talent coordinator human. How can I help you? I need I need to receive a discount order from our employees. He is in, is in, in the office right now. What time does Mr. Uh, Mr. Gonzalez return? I don't know what time he will 
he will return the office. Okay. Excellent. All right. Uh, you don't know what time he will return to the office. Very good, Maritza. Thank you, Domingo Alexander. Very nice. All right. Let's see. Um, Edwin and Jonathan. Okay. Jonathan. <clears throat> okay. Excuse me. I am looking for Miss Rodriguez. Can you tell me who is she? Is? Sure, she is a contable assistant. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? She has all the accounts. She had the different daily routine. I understand. And do is Mr. Luis were uh, uh, and do is Mr. Luis. Come here, what do is he do? Yes, Luis come a day in the week. He is a general manager. Where can I reach him? Only consult him. He is very busy person. Okay, thanks. <laughs> All right, nice, I like that. Okay, a ver, eh, era accountant assistant. Accountable okay. assistant. Mm -hmm. All right. It's not accountable, yeah. right? Y luego, acuérdense, I think it was Jonathan. Cuando hablamos de tercera persona, uh -huh. decimos has. All right. Not have. Si tienen have por ahí, hay que cambiarlo. Igual, Edwin, asegúrese de la pronunciación con does. All right. Does. Does. All right. Very good. Igual, tercera persona, los verbos comes. He comes to the office once a week, or como sea, all right? Pero comes, con S al final. Very nice. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you, Eliseo. All right, let's see here. What about, uh, let's see here. Marco and Mariano. Um, I'm a start, Mariano. Hi. Good afternoon. Excuse me, I am looking for Mr. Mariano Santa Maria. Can you tell me who he is? He is a technical advisor. Okay, I see. And uh, what, what are his responsibilities in the company? Okay, basically he visits the client and supervises the project. Okay, and does Marcos Velázquez work here? What does he do? Yes, he works here. He is a te technical mechanic and he repairs all the machines. Uh, where can I reach they, them? They are in the workshop. Okay, thanks. Excellent, very okay. good, Mariano. Thank you, Marco. All right. Just make sure, guys. Eh, I think it was Marco. Eh, la pronunciación is responsibilities. All right. Luego tenemos eh, Mariano. Basically. All right. Basically, yes. Okay. Thank you. Yes, yeah, very good. También tenemos works and repairs. Acuérdense que esos verbos son con S. All right. No sé si lo tenían escrito con S, solo no lo pronunciaron tan clara la S. Y si no, revisen ahí, ¿ok? Very good. Thank you, Marco, and thank you, Mariano. Let's see. Jasmine, ¿con quién trabajó? Jasmine, who did you work with? With Nancy. Nancy, with Nancy. Is it? Ok, very good. Yes, ok. So, mm -hmm. Jasmine and Nancy. Ok. <coughs> ok, permítame, dicho. <coughs> Vamos a preparar bocina. <risa> este. Nancy. Ok, ahí voy. Hello, good afternoon. I looking for Mr. López. He is a contact. Yes, a con. A con, you tell me the. Their your office? 
Okay, is second door in my right. Could you tell me what process you need? Thank you. I go to prohibit the financial statement. Okay, can happen. Thank you. Uh, how come the happy day? All right, very good. Thank you, Jasmine. Very good, Nancy. Okay. Acuérdense, eh, cuando decimos cualquier verbo, cualquier verbo que sea con ING, ese verbo to be antes tiene que sonar, ¿verdad? No es que yo diga I looking, por ejemplo, I looking for, no, es I'm looking for, ¿verdad? Entonces, esa M en el caso tiene que ser como bien... Eh, que se distinga, ¿verdad? I'm looking for. Luego dice, cuando le dio Jasmine eh, la, la, la ubicación de la oficina, es, um, no, I think you said two doors, algo así, to your right. Es a su, a su derecha, no a la suya, esa es la de la persona. All right, to your right. Very good. A ver, también tenemos el verbo revise. Es como revisar, ¿verdad? Y está súper bien. Revise is the pronunciation. Y luego tenemos a statement. Ok. All right. Very good. Thank you, ladies. Very nice. Let's see. What about Johnny? Johnny, who did you work with? Johnny, Marlon, yes. and Francisco, right? Yes. yes. Ok, go ahead. Ok, go ahead. Ok. Marlon. Okay. Hello, good afternoon, Johnny. I'm looking I'm looking for Mr. Francisco. Do you know him? Yes, he is the supervisor. Really? That's good. Could you tell me about his responsibilities? He supervises the sales indicators of the employees. He makes the schedules. Okay, that's interesting. Where can I reach him? Oh, he is arriving right now. <laughs> okay, thanks for all. All right, very good. Okay, thank you. And Francisco was the, the one arriving, right? <laughs> all right, okay. I mean, it Johnny, talks too much. Yeah, it, <laughs> that's fine. Johnny, no sé si tenía la palabra schedules. Ese era. Yes. All right. Okay. Schedule. But in, in plural. Schedules. Schedules. No schedules. Only with S. Schedules. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yes. Very nice, Johnny. Okay. Very good. Thank you. All right. Let's see. Maria Melina, your group, please. Okay. okay. Are you ready, Daniel? Yes, I'm ready. Excuse me. I am looking for Mr. Iraeta. Can you tell me who is he? Sure, he is a lawyer. I see. And could you tell me about his responsibilities? Yes, basically he makes legal documents for this office. I understand. That is what I need. And does Miss Jimena Campos work here? What does she do? Yes, she is Mr. Iraeta's secretary. Okay, where can I reach her? She's return at one o'clock. Thanks, I will be back at one o'clock. Okay, perfect. Excellent, I like that. Very good, Very good Maria Melina. Excellent, Daniel. Very Thank nice. You. All Thank right, you. let's Thank see. You. Amilcar's group. Aha, uh -huh, Amilcar. Ya, ya pasó Amilcar. Hi. Hi. No. I'm Amilcar. here. Yes. All right. ¿Con quién trabajó Amilcar? With Carlos García. Carlos okay. Roberto García. All right. Very good. So, ready, guys. Okay. And come on. Okay. Good morning. I'm looking for Mr. Roberto Garcia. Can you tell me who he is? 
Hi, Carlos. I don't think he's in right now. Creo que no está. Me dejó solo. No, 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 solo. Ah, no, Carlos, ahí está. Está en el lobby. Yo dije forever alone, amiga. Okay. Yeah, forever alone. <laughs> Pero siempre lo hago, hablo solo. Soliloquio. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. okay. Soliloquio. Sure. Carlos. He is, uh, he is the financial coordinator. Oh, good. Um, and could you tell me about her, his responsibilities, please? Okay. Um, basically, he presents the uh, um, the analytics financial reports to the uh, high management, you know. Uh, oh, that's good. I understand. And does Mr. Carlos Ramirez work, uh, excuse me, what, da, what does he do, please? Um, Mr. Carlos Ramirez, yes. Yes. He, okay, he is the general accountant and he accounts the purchases and sales. Thank you. Uh, where can I reach him? Um, maybe you can talk with both at the two o'clock. Okay, thank you. Excellent, very good, all right. Igual, eh, la pronunciación de básicamente es basically, all right, analysis. Es an analysis, all right. Revisen ahí en la conversación cuando le escribieron analysis. Purchases son compras. Purchase es compra y purchases es plural, obviamente. So those are like, that's the, the way to pronounce it. Y cuando decimos la hora, decimos, por ejemplo, at two o'clock. No, at, at is at two o'clock, all right? So that is, eh, eso, va, eso no se pone, solo es el at two o'clock. Excellent, guys. ¿Qué me falta? El vir me falta, ¿verdad? Maybe. Maybe, yes, of course. El, el vir en Carlita. <laughs> okay. Okay. I am Mr. Chang. Oh. In this, in this case, change the, the, okay. Excuse me. I'm looking for Miss Carla. Can you tell me who she is? Sure. She is the secretary. I see. And could you tell me about she responsibilities? Basically, she makes reports and administrative support for the manager. I understand. And does Mr. Bukele work here? <laughs> what do is he do? Yes, Armando Bukele, he is the president in the country. Where I can raise him? He is currently inaugurating the new airport. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. All right, very good. Okay, very good. Um, Elvir, eh, cuando hablaba de las responsabilidades. Creo que era, tiene que poner her responsibilities. Creo que eso era, pero me dijo she en lugar de her. Revise ahí. And tell me about she responsibilities. Uh -huh. Tell me about her responsibilities. Her. Ah, ok, her. Ok. Y nada más, eh, la pronunciación de das es das, ¿verdad? Das. Das. Yeah, das. very good. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Very nice. Fátima. And Fatima, you were working with? With, with Carlos, but I do not remember. Carlos, Carlos. Que levante la mano, Carlos. Yes, Carlos Walberto. Carlos Walberto, all right, thank you. All right, Fatima and Carlos Walberto. Uh, it's a little conversation, teacher. That's fine, <laughs> that's okay. No, that's fine. Okay. Good morning. I am looking for Miss Fatima Centeno. 
Can you tell me where I can find her? Of course, she is our general manager. But in this moment, she is at meeting. Please wait a moment. That's it? Go ahead. Um, uh, hi, are you looking? Are you looking for me, Carlos? <laughs> Good morning. Nice to meet you. Could you give me a minute, please? Yes, tell me. I want to tell you that I meet the requirements for the vacancy of marketing managers. I will be a good asset. Asset. Finish, it's teacher. only that teacher finish. Oh, very nice, but I like it. Very good, Carlos. Very good, Fatima. A ver, um, cuando decimos she is, creo que así era. Eh, she is at meeting. Fatima, revise si la puso. She is at meeting. Ajá. Entonces tenemos dos posibilidades. Podemos decir she is at a meeting or she is in a meeting. Cualquiera de las dos. Si le pone at, póngale el a. Y si no va a ocupar at a, decimos in a. ¿Ok? Yes. Ok, y luego, teacher. Yeah, yes. Very good. Excellent. Y luego la otra, Carlos, es vacancy. Para vacante. Vacancy. Yes. Very good. Excellent. Very nice. A ver. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Trini. Trini, me ayuda ahí con su conversation, Trini. Ok, teacher. Me tocó con Misael. Eh, con Misael, ajá. Good morning for Miss Perez. Eh, can you tell me who she is? Sure. She is the secretary. Y si han cool you tell me about her responsibilities. Basically, she provides administrative support, check the email, call receive, etc. I, I understand and that Mr. Chacon will work here. Yes, Mrs. Chacon is the mechanic of company. Uh, where can where can I reach him? The, he returns at two o'clock. All right, very good. Thank you, Miss Air. Thank you, Trini. Um, solo acuérdense de mechanic, ¿verdad? No es mechanic, it's mechanic. Very good. All right. Fátima, ya la veo. Um, me falta, acabo de ver quién me faltaba. Carlos Eduardo and Ever. Me falta Gilmar okay, y Vicky Yes. Ok. Good morning. Excuse me, sir, do me a favor. I am looking for a maintenance personal. Sure. Which maintenance personnel do you need? Okay, I need a mechanic. I want to repair the company cars, assign it. Yes, I know Mario Lopez. He is supervisor, the company car. The company car, okay. Some great. Well, where can I find him? You can find him maintenance area. Okay, thanks. I'm going for it, Carlos. You're welcome. Very good, nice. Thank you. All right. Yes, maintenance. Very good. <laughs> oh no, your glasses. Okay, very good. Me falta Vicky. Vicky trabajo con. With me. Oh, Hilmar, thank you. 
Uh, I am Mr. Marino and Vicky, Mr. Wong. Okay. Okay. Uh, good morning. I am looking for Mr. Love. Could you help me, please? Of course. He is the manager of the branch. I have a meeting with him. Sir Lopez in is in training with other employees. In what moment they attend to you? I understand. I will wait Thanks. for Mr. Lopez. Basically. Go to the waiting room. Thank you. Oh, to go to the waiting You're room. Welcome. <laughs> nice, Vicky. All right, so you have a waiting room in the office. Perfect. Okay, very nice, guys. Thank you. All right, now, I know that de repente se vuelve largo estar escuchando, but it's very important, all right, especialmente porque trato de ir como tomando nota de las cosas que podemos seguir mejorando, all right, y no es solo, por ejemplo, decir algo para María Melina, sino que es for everybody, ¿verdad? Entonces, it's very important that you guys pay attention to the corrections, or what, okay, so you keep on improving. That's the whole idea. All right, so let's continue here. No sé si alguien me faltó, algún grupo me faltó, o todos. Jorge, creo, no sé si está por ahí, Jorge, Arru ¿qué? Jorge, Jorge. Okay, no está. All right, okay. So let's keep on working with this, guys. Let's go to the next page. It would be page 30. All right, veamos esto. Eso es como vocabulario importante porque lo usamos mucho in our jobs. All right, so it's very important for you to know. It says, read the information um, on the HR personnel, then answer the questions below. So, me hacen un favor, hay un micrófono abierto por ahí. All right, so we have recruitment coordinator. All right, a ver, um, Francisco, can you please read hasta donde le puse en azul? Okay. <clears throat> recruitment coordinator, a bachelor's degree, Organizes a schedule of candidate. Eh, no puedo ver ahí por algo. Ya lo quité, ya lo quité. <laughs> okay, organizes a schedule of candidates interviews, opens and, and pots. Re, 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 how do you say? Ahorita, ya vamos a ver. Ustedes ahorita dígalo, como lo pueden decir. Vacations. <laughs> Coordinates, coordinates internet, internal and internet job postings as a degree in managing. Okay, very good. Vamos a ver ahí. Bachelor's degree. All right. Bachelor's degree organizes a schedules of candidate interviews. All right. Acuérdense que la pronunciación de este verbo es organizes. Opens and posts requisitions, coordinates internal and internet job postings, and has a degree in management. All right. Continuamos aquí. A ver, a uh, Vicky, Dinora, de lo que sigue, las últimas cuatro. Work with and support a client team. Has five years of experience. Work on weekend day. Works part time. Excellent, thank you. All right, so works with and supports a recruit a recruiting team. Has five years of experience. Works on weekdays and works part time. Okay, very good. Thank you, Hilmar. Benefit a uh, benefit specialist. Hasta aquí. Hasta aquí, Gilmar. Okay. Bachelor degree develops and maintains competitive policies and practice compensation plans, creates cost effective benefits programs to provide motivation. Incentive, incentive 
and rewards for effective performance. Okay, very good, Gilmar, thank you. Otra vez, verdad, en el otro teníamos la misma al inicio, bachelor's degree, all right? Develops and maintains competitive, progressive and proactive compensation plans. Creates cost-effective benefit programs to provide motivation, incentives and rewards for effective performance. Okay, let's continue. Very nice. Thank you. Vamos a ver. Mariano, can you read the last three, please? Okay, teacher. Works on win work or oh, works on weekday. Part time jobs. Three years of experience in this position. Excellent. Very good. So works on weekdays, part time job three years of experience in this position. Very good. Let's see. Uh, Carla, talent management consultant. Uh, here, Carla. Talent manage, um, management consultant. A chair of the train, responsible for leadership, the, Development, development, <laughs> carries development, assesses performance, learning and develop, development. <laughs> no sé cómo se pronuncia. Se salió tres veces la palabra ahí, ¿verdad? <laughs> A ver, bachelor's degree, responsible for leadership development. Different. Yes, career development assesses performance, learning, and development, okay? Okay. Thank you. Marlon, continue with the last three from the same job. Sorry, teacher. Where it says works on Saturday, this last three. Okay, works on Saturday, full-time job, and one year of experience. Excellent, thank you. All right, then we have human resources generalist. Let me see here. Carlos Eduardo Melga Rivas, can you read this one, please? Okay. Pleasure, tire, maintenance, collected of legal requirements and government reporting regulation affecting human resources. Okay, very good. Bachelor's degree. Si se fijan las cuatro dicen bachelor's degree. Maintains knowledge of legal requirements and government reporting regulations affecting human resources. Okay. Very nice. Uh, Jorge Argueta, can you read the last four? No sé si está por ahí, Jorge. Argueta, no? All right, Victoria Maria, can you read the last four, Vicky, please? Okay. Respond to inquiries regarding policies, procedures, and programs. Work on Saturday, part-time job. Five years of experience in similar position. Thank you, very nice, okay. All right, it says respond to inquiries regarding policies, procedures, and programs. Works on Saturday, part-time job and five year of experience, five years, sorry, of experience in similar positions, okay? All right, veamos aquí. Revisen ustedes ahí si necesitan que les repita alguna de la pronunciación que está en todos estos um, information on the HR. Mi teacher. Yes, Nancy. Uh... Ba bachelor mm -hmm. 
Bachelor's. Bachelor's degree. Es bachelor. licenciatura, sí. Bachelor's degree. Bachelor degree. Degree. Okay. Mm -hmm. Es que degree es como certificado. Sí. Mm -hmm. Pero en, si lo traducimos es licenciatura, ¿ok? Algo así, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Sí, de hecho es el equivalente. Bachelor's degree. Si usted es licenciado, usted se llama bachelor. All right. Mm -hmm. Very good. Anybody else? Yo pensaba que era bachiller, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> no, eso es high, high school student. All right. Very no. good. Is bachiller is high school student. Okay. And support and requiting. Uh, for which one? Number one, two, three, four. Number one. Number one. Uh, let me see. And wake up in the past five years of, oh, yes. of spring. Yes, okay. Works and with a uh, uh, recruiting, recruiting team. Re Recruit, Re recruiting. Recru mm -hmm. Recruiting. Excellent. Recru yes, Elvi, very nice. Recruiting okay. team, yes. Recruit. Recruit. Amilka, recruit. <laughs> recruiting. Re recruiting. 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 Uh-huh, very good. Recruiting. recruiting, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, recruiting. Thank you. Yes, okay. you're welcome. Recruiting. Excellent, Amelka, yes. Yeah, Amelka. <laughs> Vámonos. <laughs> yeah, all right. Es el gorrito. Dígame, Trivi. Recruiting. Hoy es el último, no se puede ir. Podría. My time's knowledge. Ah, uh, ahorita... Uh, maintains knowledge. 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 Conocimiento. No, conocimiento. Acuérdese que se deriva de la, del verbo know. ¿Verdad? Cuando se dice I don't knowledge. know. De ahí viene knowledge. All right. Regarding teacher in the last. Permítame, Amelcar. No sé. Uh, Trini, no sé si tenía otra pregunta o estamos okay. bien. No, solo era esa. Gracias. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Amilcar, excuse me. Um, respond to inquiries regarding. Uh -huh. What is regarding? Concernientes a políticas. Okay. Uh -huh. Inquiries. Inquiries. Response to inquiries es como solicitudes. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, and the last one, teacher. Yes. General. Intenté darle, darle forma, pero no, no, no pude. Human Resources Generalist. Um, no. Generalist. Ajá, Generalist es the pronunciation. Human Resources Generalist, no sé cuál sería exactamente el cargo, pero tiene que ver obviamente con recursos humanos. Generales, pero I don't know what that means. All right. Okay. Sí, porque dice generalista uh -huh. en la traducción. Exacto. Uh -huh. I don't know what that is. <laughs> All right. Okay. Very good. Thank you. A ver, ¿alguien más? Johnny, no questions, Johnny. Ever, Mariano, no. You're fine. Daniel, Jonathan, Fátima, Alexander, no. Teacher. Teacher. Uh -huh. oh, uh, I don't remember assesses mm -hmm. or no assesses performance. Sí, es como As... cuando usted evalúa, es un sinónimo, evaluar eh, el rendimiento. No. Oh. Uh -huh. Okay. Performance is All right. Yes, very good, Johnny. Anybody else? Sure. Yes. Excuse me, I live in the class because they I call me the office this moment. Oh, I'll be okay. That's fine. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Yes. Development. Ah, Develop uh, development, development and desarrollo. Development. Okay. Uh-huh. Career development. development. Yes. Leadership Has development or career development. Uh-huh. Um what is the meaning for has a degree in management. Ah, tener un uh, grado o tener una, un título de, eh, ¿dónde estaba esa, Marie Marie? And uh, number one. Uh, has a degree, ah, en, geren, en gerencia. Tener un título en gerencia. 
-huh. Ok, thank you. ¿Alguien más? ¿Anybody else? Teacher. Yes. Teacher, the, the word support. Mm -hmm. eh, Apoyar. Apoyo. Sí. Apoyo, pero, pero en este caso cuando... Eh, no fue que lo vi... No, en la conversación anterior creo que lo vi que decía... Ah, sí, administrative support. Uh -huh. es como, administrativo. Es, exacto, sí. O soporte administrativo, o sea, ayuda. <laughs> o asistente. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, very good. Ok, anybody else? No, estamos bien. All right, ok. All right, yes. Uh, eh, eh, por lo que está perdón, eh, por el concepto que dijo eh, Amilcar, no serán todas estas generalidades que está presiona, mencionando a, a continuación a lo que refiere a eso serían como las generalidades de recursos humanos no, porque cada, refiere... yo creo que no Alexander, porque cada uno es como un, um, una descripción uh, de, de lo que necesita uh, esa persona para poder aplicar a ese trabajo Ah, porque eso, está, no sé si entiendes mal, pero estoy viendo como que fueran, como que fueran cuatro, cuatro requisitos diferentes. Lo que pasa es que cada uno es uno un trabajo solo. diferente. Y cada uno es una sí. posición de trabajo, Ajá, una exacto, plaza. Una plaza, exacto. Y, y sobre esto, teacher, eh, benefit specialist, what is the position of Joe? Or Joe, of Joe, que diga. Ajá. O sea, uh -huh. benefit specialist. ¿Qué es eso? What is the meaning? La per, el, ah. Es la persona que se encarga de lo, de ofrecer los beneficios en las empresas. Uh -huh. Acuérdense que ah, todo, sí. ajá, acuérdense que todo uh -huh. esto son eh, yeah. dentro del departamento Ahí. de recursos humanos están este tipo de personas, por decirlo así. Okay, okay. Estas porque, plazas internas. Porque, porque ahí se menciona que también que tiene que crear programas que, que del costo-beneficio para proveer motivación, incentivos y reconocimiento a las personas. Entonces es alguien que se encarga de, uh -huh. de los beneficios. Ajá, o sea, de, de darle ma máxima, sacarles el máximo provecho al, al personal. Por ahí creía yo que es esa persona. Ok. Son plaza fantasmas todas estas. Me saca el fútbol. Plaza fantasma. A mí, a mí más okay. me suena a eso. Porque en la realidad, na nice. Teacher. Nice verde. Performance. Ajá. What is performance? Rendimiento. Rendimiento. Ok. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Y el human, y el human resource generalist is like a como una persona que, que, que tiene que ver con conocimiento de leyes. Conocimiento de leyes, porque dice leyes. Okay. Porque ahí dice legal requirements and government reporting. O sea, mm -hmm. eh, tiene que conocer de leyes y okay. reportarle al gobierno las, lo, las regulaciones que afectan las, las cosas de las personas, algo así. Ya no, entiendo, como, como, general, como, como el que ve, general, como, por ejemplo, como el que ve el cumplimiento de las leyes legal. laborales, Ajá, todo lo legal, el, el Ministerio de Entendido. Salud, Ajá. Ajá, okay, ya, ya te entiendo. Ya. Eso, eh, plaza fantasma, eh, plaza fantasma. <risa> ahí en la empresa, ¿Cómo ahí en la empresa, ¿cómo hay un todólogo? Todólogo, ¿cómo se dice? Ya no hace nada. ¿Cómo se dice plaza fantasma? Plaza fantasma, plaza fantasma en inglés, teacher. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Plaza fantasma en inglés. Position. It's like, uh, yo, eh, eh, tú me, este, ah, se me ha ido el nombre, plaza fantasma, ghost, ghost, yeah, yo, ghost, ghost, pero yo. Pero hay que tener un nombre eh, específico. All right, guys, very good. Tomorrow we're going to continue with this, okay? Mañana vamos a continuar con esto, and then we're going to continue with the rest of unit three, okay? I'm going to stop okay. sharing. Antes de tomar la asistencia, solo recordarles, todavía hay algunos compañeros que me deben el examen de medio curso. All right, si no lo ha logrado terminar, por favor, hágalo, porque ya estamos eh, 
pues a mitad, ¿verdad? Entonces sí necesitamos que se ponga al día, porque acuérdese que le falta toda la unidad 3 y luego la 4 y el examen final. Así es que si me deben examen, please do it. Ok, vamos a tomar... Sí, yes. examen, teacher, ¿dónde los encontramos? Disculpa. En la plataforma, Francisco. Ah. Sí, se ha logrado examen, meter, Francisco. Se refiere, se refiere a las tareas. Sí, sí, sí. Ajá, ¿Qué? dentro de las tareas, ah. después de la sección que termina la 2, está el examen. Sí, Siempre sí, todos sí. en la plataforma, Francisco. Ah, ok. Sí. Ah, pues. Come on, Alexander, come on. <ríe> ok, guys, let's see. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Carlos, thank you. Carlos Alberto Rodríguez. Daniel Antonio Luna. Domingo Alexander González. Thank you. Present teacher. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Tandrae Montano. Present. Fátima Alejandra Centeno Franco. Present. Silmar Cruz Méndez Méndez. Present. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jonathan Alexander Pineda Díaz. Present. Jorge Elvir Miranda Ramos. José Francisco Hernández Ávalos. Mechanic. Present. Mechanic. Carla Benacir Lara González. Carlita. Present. Thank you. Marco David Velázquez Vázquez. Present teacher. María Emelina Iraeta de Salinas. Present teacher. Maritza Alcira Castellón Celaya. Present teacher. Misael Rivera Aquino. Hi, Maritza. Present Hi. teacher. Nancy Lizette Rodríguez Escoto. Bye, bye. Present. Romeo <laughs> Alexis Rodríguez Joaquín. Present. Romeo, entra Romeo. Very yes, thank you. Jasmine Melanie Lemos Rodríguez. Marlon Alberto Cardona Valencia. Present. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present. Adela Trinidad González Consuelo. Present. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. Present. Ana Mirka Alcañengues Aceituno. Present. Excellent, guys. Miren que hoy todos estuvieron en clase. All right, guys. Los veo mañana. Johnny se me queda nada más un ratito. All right. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, everybody. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Hi, Johnny. Hi. <laughs> How are you today, Johnny? I'm fine. Okay. How is everything at work? Well, very well. Okay. Very good. Nobody's sick anymore? Um, only two, two students. Students? Sí. Ah, okay. But the teachers are okay now. Yes. Excellent. And you didn't get sick, Johnny? What? You Repeat, didn't please? Get, yes, you didn't get sick? Um, no. Wow, Johnny, you're a hero. <laughs> <laughs> no. Very good. Okay. All right. Um, Johnny, I don't know if you have any questions about the topics that we have studied this um, course. Uh, with the topic, no, but I have three questions. Uh -huh. In, on, and at. Uh -huh. I confuse <laughs> because when I studied these prepositions, yes, only site or lugar, mm -hmm. in, dentro, or no. Mm -hmm. um, in dentro. On, sobre. Yes. And at, I don't know. <laughs> en medio. <laughs> no, at lo vemos como un punto específico, Johnny. All right. Mm, estaba Entonces, viendo uh -huh. una, una pirámide. 
Sí, que exacto. el in es la más grande, más el grande. no intermedio y el after pequeño. Exacto, porque es un punto específico, ¿verdad? Entonces, por ejemplo, el in va desde que ciudades, países, continentes, ¿verdad? Entonces dice, I am in El Salvador, I live in Santa Tecla, o I live in Santa Ana, I live, uh, etc. Right? O usted dice, I am in the office, pero, o in the school, pero resulta que el colegio es grande. ¿Verdad? Entonces, si yo le busco, yo llego al colegio y le digo, Johnny, where are you? Usted me dice, ah, Jessica, I am in the school. O sea, yo sé que está dentro, pero cuando usted me va a decir exactamente a dónde, usted me dice, I am at... Uh, the cafeteria. Entonces yo voy a llegar y yo sé que lo voy a encontrar por la cafetería, no adentro de la cafetería. ¿Ya? Um, depende, depende cuando me hagan la pregunta y uso el in, <risa> el y el at. Sí, exacto. Hay cosas, por ejemplo, si usted me dice, I am at the bus station or at the bus stop, obviamente usted no se puede meter dentro de la parada de buses, ¿cierto? Entonces ahí vamos a ocupar at. Aparte, también pues, se vuelve un lugar específico. ¿Ok? Mm, pero mm -hmm. si yo diría, uh, I am in my house. Sí, está bien. Porque está dentro de su casa. El in yeah. lo ocupamos siempre también, Johnny, cuando tenemos, por decirlo así, cuatro paredes. Ahora right? está dentro de su casa. O sea, hay más, ¿no? Pero es algún lugar cerrado. ¿Verdad? Eh, en un país hay fronteras. Entonces, es cerrado. Ahora, right, entonces lo vemos así, pero si usted me dice, I'm in my house, ¿a dónde? At the kitchen. All right, ahí por la cocina se encuentra, ya más específico. Uh -huh. um, pero no es correcto entonces decir, I am at home. O at También, house. sí, at home, sí, at, ho at house, no, at home. Yeah. At home. Yes. Y uh -huh. at my house, no. También, I am at my house, como no, sí. All right, pero ahí va a depender la posición en la que usted está. Si usted ya entró a su casa, le dice, teacher, I'm in my house, porque ya entró. Pero si usted está, todavía se quedó arreglando algo afuera, platicando con algún vecino o algo, se le dice, Ana, I am at my house, porque no ha entrado todavía. All right. Uh -huh. Y entonces, ¿el long en qué momento es? El long es cuando está sobre algo, una superficie, desde que en la pared, ¿verdad? Hay una foto on the wall, por ejemplo. Está sobre la pared. Eh, no sé, el colegio está on y me dice el nombre de la calle. No me puede decir in porque usted no abrió la calle y metió el colegio. Ah. Ajá, entonces, por decirle la, sobre la Rubén Darío, por decir algo. Uh, the school is on Rubén Darío Street. Oh. Right. Uh -huh. Y así eso. Cabal, cuando empezamos este, este módulo, uh -huh. ahí me vino uh -huh. de repente. <risa> ok, very good. Ah, pues eso sería, Johnny, más o menos. Y piénsenlo siempre como una pirámide invertida. El in es el más grande, on the, el como menos, y el at es más específico. Es como un punto de referencia. Ajá, entonces, uh, cuando digo días de semana, Ajá. es intermedio. Lo que pasa es que, acuérdese, Johnny, que cuando tenemos las tre esas tres preposiciones, nos sirven como preposiciones de lugar y esas mismas nos sirven como preposiciones de tiempo, ¿verdad? Entonces, cuando usted dice, eh, I have classes on... Mondays, usamos on para días de semana, usamos in para meses del año y usamos at para horas específicas o momentos específicos del día como la noche, el mediodía, la medianoche. Usted dice at night, no dice in the night. Sí ah. dice in the morning, ¿verdad? In the afternoon. Pero cuando se refiere a night, decimos at night y luego las horas. I have class at 8 o'clock. I finish my class at 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. right. oh, y cuando yeah. es fecha completa, Johnny, también decimos on. All right. Oh. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, eso, esa, esa eran mis dudas. Okay. Yo había leído algo, pero quería que okay. me explicara ahí. Cómo sí, es. claro. Very good. <laughs> Muy bien, Johnny. Lo dejo descansar. Thank you so much. Y lo veo mañana. Usted va al día con la plataforma. Ahí me fijé.
Yes. <laughs> Very good, Tony. Gracias. Uh, good night. Bye. Good night.